that really was the down to the wire uh, set, I think. Of, yeah, of, that of was that, that like if you go back and watch this. Which, by the way, you are tournaments. Um, uploads all of the matches on their stream three short minutes after they finish. Which is unprecedented. It's absolutely unprecedented. So, like, let's say you're playing round-robin pools and you have a quick breather. You can go watch your match that you just played on YouTube, get some tips from yourself, and then keep going and playing. Whoa. What a surprise we have for the folks at home. Dakpo against unrivaled uh, tournaments Chevy. Yes. So Chevy. Chevy, that awesome duck hunt dog. We saw some Duck Hunt Dog do some pretty crazy stuff um, at uh, the 2GG Saga. I'm Hip pulled out Duck Hunt Dog and got top five, I think, finished fifth, which is crazy. And then Dakpo, tell me about Dakpo. Dakpo's your boy. Dakpo, Dakpo, I mean, he he really is, when, when you speak with him, one of the smartest players you will ever interact with. Uh, he's so smart at setting up these situations where he can have some insane punishes. I saw this man at PAX against Nakat, and he spent three minutes trying to do a, uh, trying to set up for a specific uh, spot dodge bait just so he could punish with a shorty. That's kind of amazing. It's insane. And, and like you said, like Dakwo puts on, you know, like, uh, like lessons. So clearly this man not only is good at executing, but he's also at explaining his execution and the reasons that he does it. Um, when you have that kind of knowledge about the game, really you can go up against anybody. And look at that knowledge paying off. He saw that Chevy would, would throw out the cans and then try to create separation in order to throw out the, uh, the sheriff. Is that what you call it? The yeah. outlaw? Uh, uh, but but every time, because Dakpo had that understanding, he decided to just run up, challenge it directly with that Shoryu, and those, that will not be the last Shoryu you no. see in this set, I can almost guarantee and it. And that's one thing, though, about Chevy, is that um, he he knows Duck Hunt Dog and he knows all the setups, so, you know, even though he's down big, Duck Hunt Dog can play such a patient game that he can bait mistakes out of people, even someone as smart as Dakpo. So let's see if Chevy's able to make a comeback here. Exactly. Dakpo. He's, he is at a rather high percentage. Uh, are there any particular KO options we can expect from Duck Hunt here? You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna front with you right now. I've seen so few Duck Hunt dogs that their setups are mostly a mystery to me. And when I see them out, I'm always overjoyed because they're so strange. But a lot of stuff I've seen is that those little hits from the sheriffs that come out from the lawmen into like forward air, back air, stuff like that. Um, so I would expect to see a lot of uh, these projectiles that he throws out and him to dash in when they hit and try and get a follow-up off of it. Kind of like Toon Link. I get that definitely makes a lot of wow, sense. Wow, that killed? Yeah. I, okay. mean, he, I mean, Luigi is such a floaty character, and he was at such a high percent. That's true, but man, I didn't see the red lightning, that up, I mean, it almost seemed like there was like like a wall master from Zelda waiting at the top of that thing. It's just like, nope, you're coming with me. Like. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, at, at some point, Duck, you know, I guess the game's like, you know what, Duck Hunt, you, you've had enough trouble. Yeah. Well, here you go. We'll go ahead and give you this one. Um, that is one thing that uh, that she Dakpo has been doing a really good job against Chevy here is is all these times that Chevy has tried to, to build up this wall with the can, with the, the, the clay pigeon, um, and with the sheriffs, Dakpo's just not letting it happen. He's just like, no, you have to face me. I'm not letting you, all your little minions come at me. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's nice seeing Dakpo change from passive to aggressive based on the projectile that we're going to be seeing from Chevy. Right now, it's going to be Chevy actually piloting this match. Uh, he is down a lot in percent, but if you look at the momentum, it feels in his favor. Of course, Dakpo, so fast to answer. Yeah, Dakpo, you know, he, he actually, I think what happened there is he felt the momentum, the, 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 the shifting away from him. And he's like, you know what? No, I, I need to find this win condition. Just like in the first stock, got the Shoryu, that one he's like, okay, he's, he's trying too hard to set all this stuff up. I'm going to run in, take a chance, get this up smash, took the game. And now Chevy hoping to take a game with a character swap going to Mario. So the good old Mario versus Luigi. Uh, uh, the, the, the battle between brothers, historic. This is honestly uh, one of my favorite matchups to watch. One of my favorite sets happened at, not at this Gommel, but at the last Gommel. Yeah. I think it was between uh, Poke and uh, V-Wins? Mm -hmm. Or sorry, Black Twins. Black Twins and Poke. Oh, misfire there. I don't know if that's what he wanted, but Dakpo is a mash master. I've never mm -hmm. seen anyone mash to the level that Dakpo does. So it's, it's like almost like that he has like a bionic thumb that just like and he's there. Cause, oh, oh my god! And punishing those spot dodges. We talked about how important that would be and how Dakpo is so good at setting up those spots. And as you mentioned, that you know, the one that we saw in game one was not going to be the last Shoryu we saw. And just like that, 
you know, Chevy in a huge hole once again, not where he wants to be. Such a massive deficit. What do what does the uh, the older plumber have against his uh, brother? Which one's the older one? I'm assuming that it's Mario. I mean, he gets the main stage. <laughs> I just, I guess, I guess, I, I think Luigi's like bigger, so maybe he's older. And uh, I, I can see that too. But man. whatever. I, yeah, I, my, dude, I gotta talk to, to Dan. I don't know this stuff, but um, like I, Mario, because he's not as floaty and as slidey, and he has more gravity and, and more friction than his brother, he's able to be a lot more accurate, like a lot more precise. His precision in all of his combos and setups and stuff are better. Um, but honestly, Luigi's fireballs kind of stop everything that. Um, Mario wants to do, and we, we saw it there with a quick 20 and a handshake Very from Dakpo. Dakpo, uh, of course, regarded as one of the best players in DFW, and we're seeing exactly why. Yeah. And, I mean, we, we've seen that matchup a few times here in Chicago. Like, we've seen Ally versus Shell with Mario versus Luigi. Um, but, honestly, like, normally Ally is kind of able to utilize his talent to, to win that, but that time it was all Luigi. And it didn't seem like anything that uh, Chevy could do was going to win that one. Which is funny, we, we look at this meta we, and a lot of people are feeling Luigi isn't as viable.